It's no doubt it is an exciting time for SpaceX. Yeah, yesterday we were live as the company intentionally destroyed a rocket. This test was the final step for SpaceX to certify its spacecraft to fly NASA astronauts. And this week, SpaceX is planning another launch. News 6's James Barbero takes a look at what's next. We almost had two rockets at two launch pads at the same time. This Falcon 9 is now at pad 40. Of course, yesterday, we're still all talking about the huge success of the in-flight abort at pad 39A. Ignition, lift off. The spaceship expected to now fly astronauts is back in the hands of SpaceX teams at Cape Canaveral. Crew Dragon's success in Sunday's in-flight abort test moves NASA's commercial crew program in the right direction at a critical time for American spaceflight. The success of this mission. And now Elon Musk says it's a high probability astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley could be flying to the International Space Station this spring or this summer. Elon's always pushing, which is why he's as successful as he is. Uh, but NASA will do it when they're comfortable and ready to do it. And before the astronaut missions, SpaceX continues to build its constellation of Internet satellites. A static fire this afternoon of another Falcon 9 rocket it's now unclear, though, when SpaceX will launch its latest Starlink mission. SpaceX tweeting after the static fire test that the best launch opportunity is still being evaluated. It would be the Space Coast's third rocket launch of the year already. Last year actually proved to have a big slow point in the middle of it, but we're making up for it this year with a lot of activity, and I think everybody's real happy with that. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.